Hello students, in this video we will solve example 15 from complex number. Uh, the last three examples of complex number that is example 14, 15 and 16 are very important kind of problems. Okay, So be perfect with it. Uh, so example 15, let us see the question. Find the real theta such that 3 plus 2i sin theta by 1 minus 2i sin theta is purely real. Here in this question we need to find the value of theta such that if we put that value of theta here, this complex number becomes purely real. Now this, this is the complex number. It is having the imaginary iota here. That's why it is a complex number. Now we need to find the value of theta is such that if we put that value of theta in this complex number, this complex number becomes purely real. So let us try to find the theta now. So in complex number, if you want to find, uh, if you want to convert the given complex number into polar form or if you want to find the conjugate of the uh, given complex number, first what you do is, first you reduce the given complex number into its standard form, that is A plus IB form. Okay, so let us reduce the given complex in, complex number in A plus IB form. So let us pick this 3 plus 2i sin theta by 1 minus 2i sin theta. What can we do with this? Can we rationalize the denominator? Yes, we can rationalize the denominator. So 1 minus 2i sin theta. Let me take 1 plus 2i sin theta and divide and multiply. This is nothing but rationalizing the denominator. So let us multiply the terms. We get this and first multiply 3 with this bracket, then multiply 2i sin theta with this bracket as shown. Okay, so now 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 2i sin theta is 3 into 2i sin theta. I'm, I'm just multiplying the bracket 2i sin theta into 1 and 2i sin theta into 2i sin theta. And the denominator here we can solve using the identity a square minus b square is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So we can write this terms as a square minus b square. This one is a and this is b. So we can write it as a square minus b square. So now 3 times 1 is 3 plus 3 times 2 is 6 that is uh, 6i sin theta plus 2i sin theta times 1 is 2i sin theta and plus 2 times 2 is 4 i times i is i square and sin theta into sin theta is sin square theta. And here 1 square is 1 minus if we split this then what we get is 2 square i square and sin square theta. Now let us put the value of i square. i square is negative 1, i square is negative 1. Next, 3 plus 6i sin theta plus 2i sin theta is 8i sin theta and here positive and negative will be negative and 4 sin square theta that is 4 sin square theta and divided by 1 plus 4 sine square theta. The negative and negative becomes positive and we get 1 plus 4 sine square theta. And now we can split it into the real part and the imaginary part. Let us pick the real part which is the real part 3 and minus 4 sine square theta. That is 3 minus 4 sine square uh, sine square theta divided by 1 plus 4 sine square theta and which is the imaginary part this is the imaginary part that is 8i sine theta we can separate the i 8 sine theta divided by 1 plus 4 sine square theta now as mentioned in the question we need to find the value of theta where the complex number is completely real where the complex number is completely real then the imaginary part of it will become zero isn't it so what we do is we we equate the imaginary part we take the imaginary part and we equate it to zero next when this 1 plus 4 sine square theta when it gets multiplied to zero what we get is 8 sine theta is equals to zero this gets multiplied to this and becomes zero so next sine theta is equals to zero by eight what it will be it will be sine theta is equals to zero and now you go back to the trigonometry. Do you remember the general equations which we have solved? It was something similar to this, isn't it? So sine theta is equals to 0. How can we write it? We can also write it as sine theta is equals to sine 0. Because 0 is nothing but sine 0. The same value. And when we have sine theta is equals to sine 0, we have the relation theta is equals to n pi plus or minus y. Here theta is theta 
and y is 0. So putting the value of y is equal to 0, what we get is theta is equal to n pi. So now we got the value of theta, that is theta is equal to n pi. And what was the complex number given? The complex number given was 3 plus 2i sine theta by 1 minus 2i sine theta. Correct. So now if we put theta is equal to n pi, then what we get is we get the real number. See here, any value of n pi, if we put theta is equal to n pi, the any value of n pi here, the sign will be 0. For example, if uh, n is 1, sign pi will be 0. Sine 2 pi also will be 0. For example, 3, n is 3, then 3 pi, sine 3 pi is also 0, sine 4 pi is also 0. So any value of n pi, the sine theta will be 0. So if this term, if this whole term is 0 here, and if this whole term is 0 here, what we get is 3 by 1, which is completely real, isn't it? So we just found the value, hence for theta is equal to n pi, the given complex number is purely real. That is, when we put the value of theta is equal to n pi here, this will be completely real. That is, we get 3 pi 1. So, hope you understood students. If you have any doubts, please ask me in comments. Thank you.